if you can color in a coloring book, you can color in your eyebrows. Hey guys, what's up? Okay, so today we're going to be doing a video all about my eyebrows. So, this is not my first eyebrow video. This isn't my first run around. This is my first go. I actually did a fleeky versus natural eyebrow routine. I'll leave the link down below so you can watch after this if you'd like. But we're doing an updated brow routine and we're talking about my old eyebrows. Mm, very risky. I asked you guys on my Instagram story the other day if you guys wanted to see an updated brow routine or if you wanted to see how I got from this to this and you guys said both literally everybody said both actually one person said show us how you get from chola to chula and that was my favorite let's go ahead and start back from the beginning of time 13 year old ashley <sighs> got her hands on a pair of tweezers and never looked back i had the sperm brow i had the rainbow brow and i basically had the no brow I posted like a little before and after on Instagram and it said anything is possible. So I'm going to hit you with that before and after. And those angles though, my eyebrows out here looking like a park bench. I still thought I was real cute. Like I, I didn't think anything of it apparently because I was all about that life. Basically what I did to grow my eyebrows back was get bangs. That, that's really what happened you guys. I cut bangs straight across, straight bangs. And I stopped tweezing my eyebrows completely. At that point, I basically had no natural eyebrow shape at all. I had to start from scratch. I had to just let everything grow out the way it was going to grow out. I didn't tweeze anything, no matter how high or low or anywhere where it was at. I did not touch it at all. And after rocking the bangs for a while, I emerged with eyebrows. Some eyebrows, not a ton. It still wasn't to what it could be. But we, we thickened up just a slight bit. I went like a whole school year wearing bangs, maybe a little bit to the side, maybe straight across, but I had bangs at all times. By the time I hit sophomore year, they were definitely a lot thicker, but I realized that the shape sucked. I was trying to make an arch, but it wasn't there. Like it wasn't my actual eyebrow shape. So it's very, very important to know what the shape of your eyebrow is. And you will know that by seeing where the hairs grow. So now I do not ever pluck anywhere near my eyebrow. The only hairs that I pluck out are right here. And anything that grows very low away from my eyebrow or very high on top. I do take one of those little razor things and, and do this right here because my eyebrow will like connect to my hairline. A little fun fact, I've never had my eyebrows threaded. I've never had my eyebrows waxed. I've never had anybody do my eyebrows period except for maybe like my mom and my sister when I was younger when they were trying to help me out. They didn't help enough, obviously. Like a year ago, I decided to completely stop plucking my eyebrows at all, period. And I did that for a while because I really wanted them to grow in. There's no other way around it, you guys. You're not going to be able to have clean, clean eyebrows at first. You're going to have to just fill them in and make them work while they're growing. Just know that in time they will be real cute. Another thing that's always recommended is castor oil. And I've tried that before. I'll like insert a little pic of the one that I bought. It didn't grow hair that wasn't already there. But anytime I put oil, period, no matter what kind of oil it is, on my face, I put it on my brows, I put it on my lashes, I put it all over my face because I smother myself in oil every single night. And then I just toast up all night while I'm sleeping. I'm like a nice little Thanksgiving dinner when I wake up. I'm nice and soft and supple. When I wake up after doing that, my lashes and my brows pretty much always look more full. When hair is moisturized, it looks darker and you can just see it more. I'd recommend putting oil on your brows and your lashes anyways when you go to bed at night, but that's just me. I'm going to go through my eyebrow routine with you guys. It is so, so simple. If you want to see how to get these brows, go ahead and keep on watching. I'm acting like this whole video was an intro right now. So I wanted to do a good old cut crease for sentimental reasons, honestly. Um, can you believe it's already been two years since my other brow video? Yes. Instead of using powder like I did last time, I've been using pencil. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Perfect Brow Pencil. I much, much, much prefer this over the Brow Wiz because I feel like this is so much more product. Like, have you ever bought a Brow Wiz and then a week later it was gone? 
and you were just weren't ready for that i've been there for sure so you're you're not alone so you gotta have it nice and sharp make sure it's sharpened as it can be <laughs> like yes michael myers too i heard his movie uh sucked so if if anybody needs me to come through and play michael myers i'm open i'm available so this basically goes against everything i believe in because I am a brow first kind of girl, brow before foundation, brow before eyeshadow, brow before anything. Brows over everything, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so I'm gonna take my super sharp brow pencil and I'm just going to basically fill in the entire brow. I like to take it kind of sideways and, and go up so it fades out on the top. But once you brush through it with a little spoolie, it'll look mm, scrumptious. It's like when you brush through it, the product becomes one with your hairs. Everything's just nice and smooth and pretty. you're probably thinking actually it looks like a hot ass mess and it just might but once we clean it up it's gonna be real cute You know how concealer dries down? I don't like the way that it gets all crusty around my eyebrows. So I just like to use my nice creamy Makeup Forever foundation stick. Mm, I love her. Last but not least, I'm going to be taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel. Mm. I'm just going to brush all my hairs up. Alright, and then we're just going to repeat the same steps on the other eyebrow. You can already see like how much more clean this one is versus that one. Once I'm done, I like to hit it with a little razzle dazzle. Um, I usually always put a highlighter on my brow bone. It's just a habit at this point. And that is literally it, you guys. The easiest freaking brow tutorial ever. That's it. Just pencil them in, clean them up, and put some brow gel on. Follow your natural shape of your brows. I didn't need to overline or anything. Once all your hair is there, you are good. So I hope you guys enjoyed my little story, my pictures, my little walk through memory lane. It's a very cautionary tale, you guys. Be careful when it comes to doing your brows. And I hope you guys don't think like, oh my gosh, it took you 10 years to get your eyebrows to where they're at now from where they were before. And no, you guys, it did not take 10 years. I actually grew them back within mm, a year or two. I grew back like to the full extent of like an actual brow. I could have had these brows a long, long time ago if I would have had the knowledge and the brain power that I have now when it comes to makeup. I figured it out, you guys. I've been rocking with these brows for quite a while now. And yeah, that's just the main thing. Know your shape. Don't just go to anybody to get your brows done. That's pretty sketchy. That's pretty dangerous. Do not 
pluck near your eyebrow shape. Oils will make your brows look thicker. They will make them look more full. Have brush them out a little bit with some oil on there. It looks delicious. Let me know down below if you guys went through the same struggle brows that I did. Maybe not to the full extent, but I know we, we all struggled. We've all had our times. We've all had our moments. Let me know if you did too so I'm not alone. If you guys want to even send me some brow pics or some brow videos, before and afters or how you shape yours on Instagram if you want to, Ash Got Cakes. Anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye.